Hi, this is Dr. Yun, and we're going to talk about fractions today. So this lesson is about adding and subtracting fractions. And first, we are going to do add and subtract fractions with the same denominators, such as number 1. And the step for this is going to be, because they already have the same denominator, we just need to combine the top. And after combining the top, we need to reduce it to the lowest term or the simplest form. Uh, so number one, we have 3 tenths plus 1 tenth. And since they have the same denominator, we can put them in one fraction, 3 plus 1 on top, and the bottom would be 10. And together, we have 4 on top and 10 at the bottom as denominator. And looking at that, they can both be divided by 2 evenly. So after you reduce it, your final answer should be 2 fifths. Your answer for fraction should always be the lowest term or the simplest form. And the second question is negative 37 12 plus 1 12. Again, we have the same denominator. We can put them in one fraction with 12 as the denominator. Negative 37 plus 1 is going to be negative 36 over 12. And both of them are even. Some of you may see, okay, both of them can be divided by 12. If I cannot, I can say, okay, both of them are even, so for sure, they can be divided by 2. And if I divide them by 2, what I will get is negative 2 times 1, 2 times 8, over 2 times 6. And then I can see that both of them can still be divided by 2, so we can keep going. And now we have negative 9 over 3. And again, both of them can still be divided by 3. And we will have oops, negative 3 over 1. And when you have 1 as denominator, we don't have to write that, so the final answer would be negative 3. So if you can see both of them, negative 36 and 12 can be divided by 12, you will save some steps. But if you want to do it slowly, you can start with 2 and make sure it's the lowest term, and you should eventually get your final answer, which is negative 3. So the two examples are about fraction with adding and subtract, subtracting with the same denominator. And next we are going to look at how about if we need to add and subtract fraction and the denominator are not the same. Such as the one over here, 5 7 plus 3 tenths. So they don't have the same denominator. I'm going to write down the steps for you. The first step is you need to find the lowest common denominator. And after you get the lowest common denominator, you want to get both fractions here with the same denominator. And when you have the same denominator, you just do what we did earlier, right? You combine the top and you reduce the fraction. So our question for the denominator, we have 7 and 10. They are kind of the relatively prime number, so hopefully a lot of you can see this is going to be 70 for the lowest common denominator. So the LCD is 70, and we need to make both fraction with 70 as the denominator. So we started with 5 7 and we have 3 10. And to make 7 for the first fraction become 70, we are going to multiply the bottom with 10. And we cannot suddenly multiply something at the bottom. We need to do the same on top. And it will make that OK if we reduce 10 with 10. Then if this will be gone, and you still have 5, 7. So we're not changing the value of the first fraction. 
Then we move on to the second fraction, which is 3 tenths. So for here, you have 3 tenths, and to get to 70, the 10 need to multiply to 7. And again, whatever you did at the bottom, you need to do to the top. And it will make it okay if you reduce the 7, then it's like multiplying a 1. So you're not changing the values of the second fractions. So after you do that, the first fraction will become the bottom part you have 70, and the top part you have 50. And for the next fractions, the bottom part 10 times 7 is 70, and the top part is 3 times 7, which is 21. So now you have the same denominator for addition, you just need to combine the top, right? The top will become 50 plus 21 is 71 over 70. In college level, most of the teacher will accept the improper fraction as your answer. But if you really want to change it to a mixed fraction, it would be 1 and 170. Both of these would be correct. And so that's the first example. The second example here, we have three fractions, and we have 5 6 minus 3 8 plus 1 3rd. So again, they don't have the same denominator. First of all, we need to find the LCD. So this one is harder to see what is the LCD, the lowest common denominator. So I'm going to try to list this out. These are all the multiple. For 6, we have 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12, 18, 24, 30, etc. And then for 8, we have 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and then we have 24. Look like we have one matching, so I'm going to stop here first. And for 3, we have 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Okay, 24 would be the first one all three of them have in common as multiples. So that's the lowest common denominator. So after we found the lowest common denominator, we need to try to get all the fractions with 24 as the denominator. So 5, 6 here, 3, 8, and 1 third. So to get 6 to become 24, we are going to need to multiply 4. Whatever you did at the bottom, do the same on top. And for 8, it would be 8 times 3. Whatever you did at the bottom, do the same to the top. And for 3, it would be 3 times 8, and do the same on top. So after you multiply all that, you're going to have, for the first one, you have 20 over 24. And the second one, you have 9 over 24. The last one, you have 8 over 24. Because all of them have the same denominator, you can write them as one fraction. You have 20 minus 9 plus 8. So together you have 19 over 24, and that would be your final answer. We check and we cannot reduce it, so that's it.